everybody, it's Dennis Pitzenberger. We're here at SEMA Central, SEMA 2015, and I've got a grand list of guests to talk to you today at SEMA 2015, including Angus McKenzie, Chief Content Officer for the Enthusiast Network. It's glad to have you up here, and uh, we got a lot to talk about, man. I mean, you've now gone from all of these years and tenure at Motor Trend up to a new position to oversee not only Motor Trend, which is an iconic magazine, to now overseeing automobile as well, and just creating some great stuff, and you've got some great news coming up with Motor Trend On Demand. Yeah, Motor Trend On Demand is our um, video on demand channel, and so you subscribe to the channel, uh, you can go on there, we've got over 2,000 items on there, everything from live motorsport or motorsport highlights, old movies, um, our Motor Trend original programming, stuff that people have seen on the YouTube channel over the years, that's also now on Motor Trend On Demand, and we're going to increase that and boost and put more content up there. It's basically Netflix for gearheads. If you like it. cars and car culture, you're going to find something that you really want to watch on Motor Trend On Demand. Well, I love it. I think if you even see some old uh, Hot Rod Unlimited videos, you'll see yours truly up there painting a car in a driveway. I think there might be a few <laughs> of those in there. So if you pay me really well, you, I might be able to keep them off the... <laughs> OK, OK, keep them off the, off the off table. Well, what's going on? You know, I, it's really not just about, I don't want to say Motor Trend and have it be pigeonholed, because it's really the whole envelope of the Enthusiast Network going into this one big channel. Maybe let uh, everybody know how it's chopped up or how people can get different types of content. Well, you know, I came to America 11 and a half years ago. It was to run a magazine called Motor Trend. And now, you know, we don't talk about having a magazine. We don't talk about having readers. We talk about automotive media brands like Motor Trend, Automobile, Hot Rod, Roadkill. And we talk about an audience. And the, you know, those, that audience interacts with the brands on different platforms. We have print platforms. Print is our heritage and our legacy. It's how we started. You know, it ain't going away. Ain't going away. But, um, you know, it's just part of what we do. We have uh, highly successful websites. We've got our video platforms, uh, the Motor Trend Channel, the world's largest automotive channel on YouTube, three and a half million subscribers. It's amazing. And as well now, Motor Trend On Demand, our video on demand platform, plus, you know, the mobile phone um, content, the uh, tablet content. So really now, the modern media environment is all about reaching as many people as you can via as many uh, touch points as you can. It's not up to us to, to decide how our uh, customers interact with our brand. Our job is to give them the content they want, where they want it, when they want it. And that's a great way to do it. You know, and it's the way the world is. I mean, I was texting my 10-year-old daughter and she asked, she had to remind, I had to remind her why I was here, so I'm talking at SEMA. And I'm, I gotta remind myself, I'm texting my 10-year-old daughter, that's the new age of media. You gotta get it out there and let them take it the way they want. Exactly, I mean, you know, I've got, uh, on Motor Trend, I've got some very experienced journalists and, you know, over the years we've learned that a well-crafted 140 character tweet can be just as impactful as a thousand word story used to be in, in the print product. And, you know, if you look at our audience, the, the Enthusiast Network reaches about 150 million people a month. Amazing. And you know, over 100 million of that is social media audience. It's, it's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's Twitter. And you know, the definition of an enthusiast is someone who's you know, passionate and engaged about um, a topic that they're interested in. So with, with the Enthusiast Network, it's cars and car culture. I mean, we go back to the very beginnings oh, yeah. of, of SEMA, of the NHRA, with Hot Rod and Motor Trend founded in 1948, 1949. So it's, it's fascinating to see us continue the passion into a newer audience and a younger audience with these new platforms. Do you think Robert E. Peterson's up there with his iPad reading this right now? I bet he would be, you know, because <laughs> he was very quick to pick up on trends. I yeah. mean, that's how he built the empire. That's how he built these great iconic brands. So I think he would very much get this. He would very much understand. He was what always we're doing. ahead of the curve. Absolutely. Let me ask you a question about something I find interesting. It might be troubling for you, it might be easy for you. I look at Motor Trend and I see these iconic cars uh, Lamborghini Aventador, uh, LaFerrari, these cars that are what I would consider unobtainium to yep. a lot of people, yep. but still in incredible cars that you want to read about and know about. And you guys let us experience them through Motor Trend or Automobile or any of the other facets. How do you then put that passion and that excitement into the minivan test when my wife and I are looking for a new way to get the soccer kids out to the field? I mean, if you're into cars, you're in, we're into everything. You know, Motor Trend legitimately tests everything from pickup trucks to supercars. And we take it pretty seriously. If you look at our of the year uh, awards, you yeah. know, car, truck, 
an SUV of the year. One of the things when we do in that, people ask, well, how can you have a, a, a Mazda Miata and a, a minivan in car of the year? How do you compare them? Well, you're not comparing them. What you're doing is evaluating the vehicles against criteria, advancement in design, engineering excellence, efficiency, safety, value, and the most important one is performance of intended function. So if it is a minivan, how well does it do the job how well does the vacuum work in the back? Exactly. <laughs> How well does it do the job its designers and marketers and engineers intended it to do? Yeah. And so we approach every vehicle with that headset on. It's like, if we are testing a minivan, how good of a job does it do of being a minivan? How good of a job does a Ferrari do of being a Ferrari? It's all relative and it's part of the rich tapestry of the automotive culture. I mean, one of the reasons I personally love coming to SEMA is that you can see almost every type of automotive genre represented in these halls over a couple of days. And you see some of the most creative, uh, inventive work in the culture in this place. So, you know, I, I, I've written about hot rods. I've, I've ghost written columns for drag races. I've driven Ferraris. I've <laughs> driven rally cars and pickup trucks and all that sort of thing. If, if you're into cars, you love them all. That's a very true statement. Well. Being a guy who's a huge Camaro fan, as you can tell by my little badges yeah. of honor, the last ep the last issue of Motor Trend, best one ever. That sixth gen was an amazing car, and I'm going to support it all the way. If people want to know how to get a hold of you or check out Motor Trend On Demand, there's the camera. Tell them how. Okay, so come to Motor Trend On Demand. You can find it online, and also check us out at MotorTrend.com. All the details are there. He's Angus McKenzie, Chief Content Officer of the Enthusiast Network. I'm Dennis. We'll see you soon.